somewhere in this window mm-hmm. of you graduating, joining the industry, you were in the pageant world as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> so t- <laughs> tell me, tell me about, about that because I'm trying to see how that led into back to insurance again. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, so pageant. Honestly, now that I think about it, everything I do is just an accident. (laughs) (laughs) It's an accident that worked well for me. Um, So how I got into pageants, I used to run track in college. Mm. I was a triple jumper in college. Oh, wow. I had injured myself. I think I want to say my sophomore or junior year, I injured myself. And my coach, uh, my doctor at the time, he basically gave me an ultimatum because my ankles were really weak. And um, he was like, hey, patience. Oh, by the way, as a triple jumper, I have, I'm number three, top 10 triple jumper of all time at my university. So I just- Almost, like, uh, woo, woo. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all right. But well, yeah, so I got- Let's a little flex in there. Let's throw a little flex in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I got injured and um, my doctor was basically like, hey, you can continue doing triple jump or you can choose. I mean, I love to wear heels or he was like, oh, you're going to destroy your ankles for the rest of your life. So you have mm-hmm. to make a choice. And um, because I love to wear heels, I wanted to wear heels. <laughs> it's like, well, I guess. But, I yeah, I, was like, <laughs> I think my love for heels is actually pretty strong than, you know, triple jumping. So, well, OK. <laughs> yeah. So I retired triple jump and I needed something to do. And um, I remember a friend of mine had seen me at a fashion show um, that we did at another university. And then she was like, hey, you're really good. We're doing this pageant in the Liberian community. I think you'll be good for it. You seem very confident. I'm like, ugh, pageant. I don't know if I want to do pageant. She was like, no, just give it a try. If you don't win, you don't win. But of course, I'm competitive. So um, (laughs) so, um, I did the first pageant. No, actually, it started off at at UMass Dartmouth. So my first pageant was at UMass Dartmouth. It was our Mm -hmm. first ever pageant at UMass Dartmouth. And And you went to a pretty competitive university as well. Yeah. Yeah. So so UMass Dartmouth. So yeah. So I ended up winning that pageant. And then I went on to do pageants in my community, the Liberian community. And that just went on from one pageant to another to another. And then I ended up competing for Miss Liberia USA. And I won that pageant. So I did pageants basically to be confident in myself. And I think at Mm. the time you're graduating college, you're not too confident in yourself. Um, So I was like, hey, these girls seem pretty confident in themselves. You know, they have great public speaking skills. They look very poised. Um, They look very elegant out there. And I wanted to be like that. Yeah. So so I ended up competing and I won. And um, yeah, so... (laughs) <laughs> so, so it hasn't always been this patience right here there was, no. a, there was another there's patience another, okay there's another more <laughs> glamorous patience <laughs> <laughs> no also, also, so so on, on a serious note though was that was it was that a um like a difficult transition like when, when your family did your entire family leave Liberia or was it just you or so everybody left not no. So how it happened during the war, we all went to Ivory Coast for a okay. period of time. Okay. And we were in Ivory Coast and then we came back to Liberia. And then my mom got the opportunity to come to the U.S. And when she came to the U.S., um, there's two of us from the same mom, same dad. So my mom has two kids, my brother and I, and then my dad all together, there's 12 of us. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So my mom brought my brother and I to the U.S. Um, and we've been here since we came in 2003. Yeah, we got here. Oh, in okay. okay. So so when you when you first, you know, were here and you were going through school, you, you I mean, obviously, you're confident now. I mean, you, you've had a great you know career journey, you know, throughout what you were doing on the corporate side, even into your own business and pageants and sports and, you know, all those things. Were you not confident growing up? No, I wasn't confident because one, I was a tomboy doing sports. I did basketball. So I was always in sweatpants. I wasn't considered the pretty girl amongst, you know, and at the time, you know, boys like the curvy girls, you know, 
<laughs> at yeah. the time and I wasn't like I was just tall linky long arms long legs like you know I was just tall and straight like that was just the description of me <laughs> and um <laughs> and at the time I had the accent from Liberia okay which I still have you know but there were certain words I just didn't know how to pronounce and the kids at my school made fun of me because you know mm -hmm. everyone is like oh well what what are you speaking English you know <laughs> And it is English, you know? <laughs> right, 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 right. It's just a different type of English. Like, you just don't understand it. So a lot of the kids made fun of me. Um, and so, yeah, so I wasn't confident in myself at the time. So I remember, like, being in high school, like, I was so insecure that I remember my pastor, I told my pastor, she was like, patience, I know you're growing up and you're insecure, but I want you to look at yourself every day in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful. <laughs> like every mm -hmm. single day, eventually you'll believe it. So um, I used to practice that, but you know, there was still that sense of validation. Like we want, I wanted to seek validation outside of me. So right. that still played a part in my life into college. Um, so yeah, so that's why I did pageants. Yeah. Got you, got you. Well, look at you now, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> tell them like, look at me now. Right. <laughs> All right. No, I love it. No, it's, it's, it, I, I just, you know, speak to that because, um, you know, if, if even if someone, you know, isn't feeling like, you know, they are um, of the value that they truly are of, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? They can, they can cultivate that by pushing themselves, you know, getting, doing things that they wouldn't normally do, you know, just kind of getting uncomfortable, you know, because, you know, you obviously, you know, you obviously stretch yourself you know, to say, hey, all right, well, I'm gonna do this pageant, you know, not thinking about it, you know, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna do this long jump, you know, and, and now I'm gonna go into this industry. And, and you know, I'm gonna take these roles and, and take these steps. So let, let me ask you at, at, you know, at this point, you know, your agency is three years old. So you're kind of, you're kind of right in that place where, you know, you, you know, there's no turning back, like you're, you're a lifer at this yeah. point, right? Yeah. Like you're there. I mean, um, for life. <laughs> <laughs> What, you know, what, 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 what keeps you motivated? Like, how do you stay motivated on a day-to-day -day basis at this point? Um, this, there's several things that keep me motivated. Um, number one is knowing that I have people that are looking up to me. That's number one. Um, even people that are older than me, there's still people, I mean, and, and I was shocked that when we went to the NIA conference, that I didn't see too many people that were agency owners. Maybe, you know, they were, um, I guess, running their agency so that they didn't get to make it to the conference. But I was hoping to see a lot more agency owners. And I just that, a lot more young agency owners. So yeah. one of the consensus that I got from the, um, from the conference when I told people that I own my own agencies, they were like, oh my gosh, I wish I was brave like you, right? So I do know that there are people who wish they could take the step that I've taken. Um, yeah. So that's what keeps me going. That's number one. And number two, what keeps me going is I'm at the point where I know that I can do it. So there's really no turning back. And because I'm in a place now where my agency is at a place that I can pivot any way that I want it to go. Mm -hmm. um, so it just leaves me like, now I have that curiosity, like, okay, well, now where is this going to go? Now I'm excited to see <laughs> to yeah. see where my agency is going to go, which direction I'm going to take, because I can choose to, you know, focus on larger agencies now, go after federal contracts, you know, go right. after, you know, like, there's just so many things that I can do with the agency. So, um, so that keeps me going. And two, and I know a lot of people say this, but um, for me, it's creating that generational wealth, right? I awesome. want someday, and and sometimes, like when I say this, people are like, "Oh, yeah, you have that, you know, that um, millennial women mindset." Like, no, it's not that. At the end of the day, as a woman, I have something that in the future, when I do meet someone who values me and value the mind and the brain that I have, when they see an agency owner. They could be like, oh, okay, well, she has an asset that we can utilize. Mm -hmm. I have a business that's recession-proof um, for the most Absolutely. part, right? 
So a smart partner will look at it and come on board and be like, okay, well, how can we make sure that we protect this business so that our children and our children's children, so that 100, 200 years, 300 years from now, this agency or this business is bigger than what it is now, right? Hey, brown and brown. You know? <laughs> exactly. Great example. Uh, how know? can we be the next Willis of the world? How can we mm -hmm. even acquire an agent, uh, uh, insurance company in the future, right? Mm. So yeah, so I mean, that's yeah. the way that I look at it because 20, 10 years from now, like five, 10 years from now, I mean, think about all of those that are retiring, right? I can choose to grow through acquisition um, yeah. and just purchase multiple agencies as people are aging out. Um, so yeah, so there's just so many things that I can do with the agency. And now I'm super excited that I've held on for this long and I'm just excited about the future and where it's going to lead me, although I have no clue right now, <laughs> but I have options. And that's that, is exci exciting. that is exciting. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing. As a matter yeah. Of, yeah. No, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah.